Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Had a beautiful day today. It's hard to believe it's past the middle of um, November and we're still, well, I just opened the garage door, but it's, it's about 55 outside. Um, I had one of my subscribers write in and he indicated that he didn't have a lot of money and he had a 250 ES, no, excuse me, a 250 SX, wonderful bike, that, um, that the stator was chewed up on. And just a, a quick thing on what happens to these and a couple of suggestions and all that for all the viewers in general. Um, this engine is a 250 X engine off that kind of bike right there it's probably late 80s vintage and I don't have a 250 ES or 250 SX engine um, that I could pop the side cover off of so I kind of put together this demonstration aid um, see the side of the engine where the where the sprocket is this is your stator cover side of the engine and you take out the screws um, for the 250 SX you got a starter here so you got to pull the screws anyway you pull the cover off and what happens is you have oil here um, the whole flywheel and stator are in oil the good thing about that is the oil keeps the stator cool all those coils nice and cool the bad thing about that is if you have any metal particles right they stick inside the flywheel here and remember the flywheel is going around these magnets and the clearance is very very tight so any metal debris has a tendency to get in between here and tear things up right so that's what goes wrong if you have an old 250 um, SX EX even a 250 X or even a 300 it's not a bad idea once in a while to take this cover off and clean out any metal particles that might be in here anyway this uh, this individual my uh, YouTube buddy here he um, indicates that metal got in here and it killed his stator um, and he doesn't have a lot of money to get it fixed um, and just a quick comment very easy to go out on eBay and say oh I need a new flywheel and in this case see this is a DENSO flywheel if you buy a new flywheel the flywheel and stator you have to make sure they match uh, for the uh, 250 ES sometime between 80, 85 and 86 they did some um, changes so that if you buy a different flywheel it won't go over the stator the stator is a little too big so um, you kind of have to get them as a match set um, be, be careful once again that you don't you don't buy a flywheel and the stator and then discover that they don't go together that's first of all second of all if you have an early um, 250 ES 1985 or some of the ones that came out in 86 also have the earlier stator they don't make a replacement stator uh, for it um, Ricky stator or whatever it is they kind of make one for the newer ones the late 86's early 87's um, but they don't make it so be careful so anyway you tear it apart let's pretend you you really want to go Mr. Cheapo on this whole affair if I were going Mr. Cheapo I'd leave the current flywheel in there I'd clean it up right but I'd leave the flywheel right in there I'd take the stator right out but I'd leave the pulse generator in this is the pulse generator and here's the magnet that triggers it right 
and you could see nothing should be bothering those you would have to remove the wiring very carefully right you don't need to be clipping these wires one wire is yellow and blue and the other one is green sometimes the green has a white stripe on it but this one looks like it's just green anyway you just have to make sure they still come out here but I'd get this right out now you can turn this around freely and any metallic stuff will just get stuck on the inside here and you're all good the positive about that is at this point you have no money tied up the negative about that is now you have to build one of these boxes um, these boxes you can see I have a little holder here you could see four batteries if I took it out you'd see four more underneath so basically I have 12 volts worth of AA batteries by the way Harbor Freight batteries kinda suck I go get Doracells if you're gonna use this for real this thing here is a CDI unit it's from a GY6 okay and I got the matching GY6 um, spark coil. I made sure when I looked this up, I got it over eBay. I typed in 12 volt DC GY6 CDI, and a lot of times you'll see that in the match set. You got to make sure it's the 12 volt one. The AC one will not work here. The way it wires up, I mean, I could go through all the details of building this box. I already have a video up. But you can see the red and black goes to the switch. Obviously, it's after the 12 volts. I bought this little harness that came over eBay also. Um, everything to build this box, including the case and all, is less than 50 bucks. Um, I set it up. Red wire would go to that blue and white right there. Ground would go here. This is the same ground wire, but that's meant to go with the spark coil. Okay, so you got to basically clip this to the case somewhere. So there, that's that's what I would do. Um, the advantages, once again, of the oil-soaked ones like this is the stator runs cooler. You could get a little more electricity out of it for running lights and and junk like that. Um, the bad thing is metal particles have a tendency to kill them. The Honda 200S185, um, these guys, if you pull the pull starter, you'll see the flywheel underneath there. And, um... There's a little thing you thread in, you take off the bolt, and there's a thing you thread in and tighten on, and it pops the flywheel off, and that's where the stator is. The flywheel on the, or the stators on these guys is, um, it's out in the open air, but qu quite honestly, it doesn't produce all that much electricity. There's one coil on there for lights, and you don't charge a battery or anything I don't know what are each one of those light bulbs about 12 watts 15 watts 20 watts so I mean it's that alternator is probably good for somewhere around 3 amps um, AC and you know when your engine isn't running that fast the lights go dim right you're not getting a lot of power out of it so the plus more power uh, the minus oil. Um, if you have any other questions or if anybody has any questions on building this box, I do have a video up on the portable CDI box where I got the components and all that. Basically everything came over eBay, so it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It, it, this thing has saved me a lot of trouble. For those of you who've watched my videos, you'll know that. Um, and, you know for my for my buddy that kind of gets you back online for somewhere around 50 bucks how long do the batteries last I've been asked that question depends on how good the batteries are in there I've run these things I don't know I, I typically run them for five or ten minutes and turn it off and then turn it on and run them five or ten minutes again um, these batteries for me 
seem to die of um, age before they wear out. Um, so how long will they last? They should go quite a while. I think I think these batteries are typically good for about an amp hour and these I, I, I think this thing was using um, I, I think I figured it out and, and they would last somewhere around three four hours um, but that doesn't mean I'd smash a fresh set of batteries in there and drive it out into the woods and say, oh, I don't need any spares. I would definitely uh, put a put eight batteries in my pocket to uh, <laughs> just in case, you know, uh, for whatever reason they went dead, that you got a bad lot of batteries or whatever. Um, I mean, easy enough, you just take out four screws, take the batteries out and replace them. Once again, it'll get you back online for about 50 bucks. I really don't have a cheaper solution for you there, bud. Anyway, folks, um, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and please, please enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.